Welcome to the Drakenstone painting demo. And in this video, we're going to paint one of the raw pieces. It's just hydrostone that's been glued together and it's ready for paint. So um, I'm gonna be using dark gray. I just got this tester at Home Depot for $3.50. And then I'll also be using polycrylic to seal it. Now I've tried painting the pieces with polycrylic first and I feel that the paint has a little trouble sticking to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the gray first just like this. I'm going to paint it solid gray and then I'm going to paint it with the polycrylic to seal it and that helps keep it from chipping or scratching but however that leaves it a little bit shiny so then at that point I'm going to apply my my dry brushing. Okay, so first gray, then polycrylic, then dry brushing. Here we go. You're going to need a little bit of uh, water in a cup. And rather than water down the paint, I like to just dip my brush ever so gently in the water um, every so often, not with every stroke. But I'm going to go ahead and put on a big glob of paint and then I'm going to spread it around like this. So the paint is quite watered down. I don't want to get it so wet that the glue starts to come apart. But I'm going to go back and forth and make sure I'm in every crevice and then I'm trying to put as thin of a coat in as possible, but I'm trying to get in every nook and cranny. So you can see I'm using a short, stiff, bristled brush, and that way I can kind of stab the bristles into the holes and kind of poke into the little crevices and nooks and crannies, and that way I can really cover every little tiny dot. If you're trying to just brush on the paint like this, you'll just hit the surface, so you have to really kind of push the brush into the cracks. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I went through and painted everything gray. There's still a few white dots here and there where I didn't quite get every little tiny detail. So I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to go through with a second coat of the gray just to hit all the little white dots or any spots I missed the first time. Probably I'll use more water this time so that we can get more into the cracks. I'm also going to paint the back because I want this to be sealed. If you don't paint the back you end up getting dust everywhere as this plaster kind of leaves a dust trail everywhere it goes. Alright, looks like the back is dry. So I'm going to go back to the front side and give it a little bit of a second coat I'm not going to cake it on or anything, but I'm just going to use lots of water and try to get in every little tiny spot that maybe has some white left in it or some light gray, anything that didn't get touched before so that I'm sure that everything is gray and it didn't miss anything. Okay, in this step I'm going to apply the polycrylic since the gray is already done. It's water-based, so you can rinse your brush in a cup of water. It's best to use a big brush. And we don't want to put too much on at one time, so just a little bit. Wipe your brush off. You don't want to have big drips of it there. We want to just put a nice light coat.
make sure you get polycrylic on the corners where the pieces are most likely to chip and then along the edge where you put the pieces together because when you bump the pieces together and they contact each other you don't want it to chip there or rub away the paint so we'll put it a little bit more thick on the corners like this okay we finally have everything painted with the dark gray every little bit is painted gray, it didn't miss any spots. Went through it with a second coat of gray just to make sure everything was was covered. I painted it with the polycrylic. It gave it a little bit of a shine, but it gave it a nice hard coating. So now we're ready for the dry brushing. So this is the light gray. And you take a brush that you didn't dip in water. You can't use one that you that you dipped in water or is wet. It has to be literally a dry brush. Make sure you take most of the paint off. So, you know, literally, if I try to paint this paper towel with this brush, it doesn't even hardly make a mark. Okay, and then just very lightly, I start with just one direction. But you can go back and forth too. press very hard. I've learned that you have to make sure that you don't rub the metal part or make it too low like this. You kind of need an angle like this. You have to make sure you don't get paint all over the brush. Just only on the tip of the brush. And it's best to start with too little can hardly tell that there's any difference there and that's how you want to start then add a little more Okay, I finished up all the dry brushing and as you can see the the dark is at the bottom and then the lighter gray is on top and I have an even lighter gray if I want to just do the very corners or just want to highlight some of the special blocks but I think this looks pretty good it's always wise to do one piece and set it aside and then just keep that piece and that way you can always match it with your painting later so I'm going to put this aside and then try to paint all these other pieces so that they're exactly the same so it becomes a matching set.